Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CCT, Certified Zen Tango Teacher. And today's tango is Joyful. I spoke at a women's conference, Joyful Living Conference, this last week. And I did this um, topography meets, or Zen Tango meets topography piece. You can see a portion of it here. It's not quite finished. I'll probably color it. I'm not sure, but you can see the little tangle that I did. It's a little flower tangle right here, and I call it joyful. Um, it's a little like um, Nazepal gone wild. So we're going to, um, I'm going to show you that tangle today. We're going to learn that tangle. It's very easy. Got some here. These are some of the tangles that I'm teaching this week at class. And so these are little joy folk. So we're just going to start out. I'm going to just use a, a blank tile, no strings, no borders today to teach you joy folk. And we just start out with an X. It can be any size. Then cross lines going. Um, all so you have four different lines on there so you have eight sections and now we're going to do Nazepal the last part of Nazepal in each one of these sections if you haven't done Nazepal you need to look at my video on Nazepal but here's a real quick lesson we're just going to start on the line I'm going to come up I'm going to do a rounded top come back down the line and round in so that there's just a petal shape. But we just come up, round the top, come back down and round in. Now I'm gonna rotate my tile because it's much easier to do it if I have it in the right angle for me. This one's gonna be a larger one than I've than I normally do. And I don't worry if I have a little piece sticking out here because I just start my next one on that and then come down and round off. And there we have Joyful. My last step here. We're not completely done. I'm going to fill in this center completely black. And I take my pen. Remember, don't push hard with your pen. That lighter touch with your pen will, the ink will flow out better and it will fill up. And then I'm going to take a stroke here and I'm going to do a little round. It's going to be a little curve. Making that curve going whichever way you want will help those little petals in Joyful have a rounded look. And there we have Joyful. Now I can take my pencil and I can put a little bit of graphite right down here in the bottom, right next to the black of my Joyful and then blend it out with my shading stump. Also remember not to press hard with your shading stump. When you do that, pushes that graphite down in to the paper and doesn't blend it out. And this is a great place where you could add color. That's probably what I'm going to do on my um, big joyful is add color. So we're going to do one more joyful so you can see how it's done. This time I'm going to do it a little bit smaller. There's my beginning. Then my little petals. And I can do about half of it. Then rotate.
And you can see how it's kind of in a zeppo on free hand. But I named it Joyful because I did it for the Joyful Living Conference. Easy step outs will be on my blog, inkadoodles.com, and also a template for the words Be Joyful will be on the blog also. And there you have it. Is that not simple? Now, if you find that you have a little space in between here, I've also done a little rounding right here and put some dark down in between. This one will show up a little bit better. Just do a little rounding right here and that really defines this little template um, tangle also. So you can do a little rounding right there and um, complete your joyful tangle. So there you have it. Enjoy joyful. And I had a great time speaking with, I was not the keynote speaker, but the keynote speaker was um, Carol Tuttle. Her books are Remembering Wholeness and The Child Whisperer and Anne Washburn, who talks about body language. And I felt very privileged to be asked to teach a Zentangle class, the benefits of Zentangle in bringing joy to people's lives. And it was great. I had tons of fun. But there we have Joyful, a fun tangle to do that should bring you lots of joy. Thanks for watching.